And then there's this really ominous sound that happens. It gives you the feeling like something's off, something's not real here. And what I think is, I think it's very possible that um, the Hey guys, Cameron Van Hoy here. Thanks for joining me for Misunderstood Moments in Movies, where we discuss great movies and some of their more misunderstood moments. You can disagree with me. You can agree with me. I may be wrong. I may be right. Some of this is all just opinion, but we're going to discuss them and you're going to let me know what you think. So the movie we're discussing today is Taxi Driver, Martin Scorsese's classic neo-noir from the 1970s, starring Robert De Niro, Jodie Foster, Harvey Keitel, Albert Brooks is in it, and uh, Sybil Shepard. It's an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it yet, you should not watch this video and go watch that immediately. There are spoilers, so just be prepared. Uh, the movie's about a loner. It's about a guy who fought in a war who's back in America and he's he's having trouble connecting. It's, a, it's about being despondent and being disconnected from people and society. And he's working as a taxi cab driver, which allows him this glimpse into the underworld of New York and even deeper, the underworld of the human psyche. He sees porno films, deals with pimps. He sees young female prostitutes underage on the streets. There's this one great scene where Martin Scorsese's character, the director of the film, sitting in the back of the cab talking about what he's going to do to his wife who's cheating on him, how he's going to shoot her. He's going to shoot her in, her in her private parts. And that you should see. That you should see what a 44 magnum is going to do a woman's you should see. And it's, it, you know, it's just, it's dark. It's really dark. It's really, uh, it's sexually twisted and it's perverted. There's perversion in it. But that's what the film is about in many ways. Robert De Niro's character, as he's going mad really, because that's what loneliness, severe loneliness will do to a human's mind. It will take them to really dark places and really sort of fuck with you and fuck them up. And he, he starts channeling all of this frustration and hate and disdain towards humans. And of course, like, this is all documented throughout the film really well by the narration. Someday a real rain will come and wash all this scum off the streets. So he's almost like feeling superior to these people. And as he's channeling these feelings, he decides to act upon them by uh, going after a politician politician who he's disillusioned by just like he's disillusioned by humanity he's disillusioned by this politician so he decides he's going to kill him but he doesn't kill him the plot is foiled a little bit and so then in a last ditch effort he ends up putting that rage towards the saving of a young underage prostitute played by Jodie Foster that he gets to know and gets to care about and he goes and he kills her pimp and when you watch the scene it's a really great scene. It just, it's so grimy and dark, but yet so good. And at the end, the cops come in, and you see him sitting there. You see Robert De Niro's character sitting there with the mohawk and the blood, and he takes his hand, puts it up to his head, and goes like Pew. And then there's this really like beautiful floating shot. This camera floats from overhead. It's looking down. It's kind of reminiscent to Enter the Void, if you've seen that film. I think there's actually a reason why they're so similar is because it's the God perspective. It's almost as if Robert De Niro's character, his soul has left his body and he's now looking up above from the perspective of his spirit watching as he's floating away, leaving this earth, leaving his physical body. And then, does he go to his own heaven? Does he go to a place where his pain and suffering is now gone? A place where he's a hero? Because we know that the next scene is some newspaper cutouts of stories about this heroic effort of a man who saved a young prostitute from an evil pimp. And then he's driving his cab again. And the woman who he loved, the woman who he was attracted with, who denied him earlier, uh, Sybil Shepard's character gets into the cab. I read about you in the papers. How are you? And then there's this really ominous sound that happens. There's like this shot of him looking, and it's almost like the shot's in reverse, and this weird sound happens. It gives you the feeling like something's off, something's not real here. And what I think is, I, I think it's very possible that, um, that he did die. I don't think he made it out of there necessarily. And I think maybe his spirit did float away. And I think his heaven is a place where he is a hero. 
and he's celebrated and he's able to love and he's able to connect to people again. What did you think? Did you get that out of the film? Do you agree with me? Am I wrong? Let's talk about it. Please leave some comments below. I will be sure to respond. Tell me what you thought of the movie, what you thought of the ending, and uh, yeah, take care.